Welcome to Biochemistry DSP channel. In this video, I will be explaining about the degradation of cholesterol. Unlike uh, proteins, carbohydrates, fatty acids and glycerol, this cholesterol cannot be catabolized into CO2 and water because it has got a sterol ring which remains intact during the cholesterol catabolism. Hence, uh, this sterol ring should be eliminated from the body in feces in the form of bile acids and coprosterol. Bile acids are synthesized in the liver from cholesterol and which are excreted in feces through bile. Coprosterol is formed from cholesterol in large intestine by the action of intestinal bacteria and it is also excreted in feces. So from cholesterol, uh, if you see the metabolic fate of cholesterol, it will be converted into either uh, bile acids and bile salt or it will be converted into steroid hormone and vitamin D3. Uh, so, this, uh, so this will be the fate of this cholesterol. So about 1 gram of cholesterol will be eliminated from the body per day. So the various products which are derived from cholesterol includes so from cholesterol we get progesterone from progesterone you get androgen, estrogen, mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoids example for glucocorticoid will be cortisol and for mineralocorticoids aldosterone, corticosterone and the androgens androsterone, testosterone uh, and uh, estrogen, estradiol, estriol, estron, all these are synthesized from cholesterol. Then from cholesterol we get 7 dehydrocholesterol. From this we can uh, derive vitamin D3, the active form of vitamin D, cholecalciferol is also derived from cholesterol. Then from cholesterol we get 7 hydroxy cholesterol from which uh, which can be converted into primary bile acids, keno, deoxy, choleic acid, choleic acid. And from this we can get secondary bile acids, deoxycholic acid, lithocholic acid, arsodeoxycholic acid. So, uh, bile acids, so, so synthesis of bile acids. Uh, the primary bile acid, cholic acid, uh, which is mainly called uh, glycocholic acid and taurocholic acid. Then, kinodeoxycholic acid, uh, the primary bile acids that is uh, glycokino deoxycholic acid taurokino deoxycholic acid which are synthesized in the liver from cholesterol uh, then the deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid or the secondary bile acids which is also derived from primary bile acids in the large intestine so these bile acids uh, uh, will have steroid nucleus and will contain 24 carbon atoms with two or three hydroxyl groups and a side chain that uh, ends with COH group. So, so uh, then from this uh, bile acids, we can also get bile salt, sodium glycocholate, sodium taurocholate. The conversion of cholesterol to bile salt is a very important mechanism for the removal of excess cholesterol from the blood. They act as good emulsifying factors which are important for digestion and absorption of fats. They also prevent the precipitation of cholesterol in the bile as cholesterol stones. Uh, then this bile salts will stimulate the liver cells to secrete more bile. Choleretic effect. So uh, when we see the synthesis of uh, bile acids from cholesterol, the first step uh, occurs with the 7 alpha hydroxylation of cholesterol. So the cholesterol will be hydroxylated in the 7th position with the help of the enzyme called 7 alpha hydroxylase to yield a compound called 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol. Then the second step is uh, hydroxylation of 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol. So in the presence of the microsomal enzyme 12 alpha hydroxylase okay so uh, the 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol will undergo again hydroxylation in the 12th position uh, to form a product called 
seven and twelve hydroxy also in the uh, it will be hydroxylated okay in uh, either in the seventh position it will undergo subsequent hydroxylation to form cholic acid and keno cholic acid and uh, this uh, when compared to keno cholic acid co cholic acid will have an extra OH group in the position 12 so this uh, cholic acid will undergo hydroxylation in the 12th position so it will have three hydroxyl groups uh, uh, which will be in the third position hydroxy uh, one hydroxy group will be present and in the seventh position also hydroxy group and in the twelfth position so it will have three seven and twelve hydroxy uh, okay in the cholic acid you can find three hydroxyl groups whereas in the keno deoxy cholic acid it will not be hydroxylated in the twelfth position it will have only hydroxy group uh, in the third and seventh position that's the difference between cholic acid and keno deoxy cholic acid then uh, a conjugation of bile acids so this uh, primary bile acids cholic acid and keno deoxy cholic acid which are derived from uh, cholyl coa and keno deoxy cholyl coa the primary bile acid which will enter the bile as glycine and taurine conjugates so in the form of uh, glycocholic acid and taurocholic acid it will be released in the bile and uh, these bile acids uh, will form glycocholic acid and taurocholic acid uh, in the hepatic cells so uh, this in bile a viscous fluid which is produced by the liver that is the conjugated bile acids form sodium and potassium salts known as bile salts so these bile salts are sodium taurocholate sodium glycocholate sodium glycokino deoxycholate and sodium taurokino deoxycholate so these bile acids are very important for the emulsification of fat as well as for the digestion and absorption of fats and fat soluble vitamins so this cholic acid and keno cholic acid are the primary bile acids deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acids are the secondary bile acids okay so uh, uh, then this uh, primary bile acids will be converted into secondary bile acids so in the liver primary bile acids cholic acid keno cholic acid taurocholic acid glycocholic acids are synthesized and uh, from uh, these bile acids will enter into the large intestine where they are acted upon by intestinal bacteria to be converted into deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid the secondary bile acids which will also undergo conjugation uh, that is deconjugation and 7 alpha dehydroxylation to produce secondary bile acids deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acids okay so these are the secondary bile acids cholic uh, deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acids next is the synthesis of steroid hormones so mainly the five classes of steroid hormones are synthesized from cholesterol glucocorticoids uh, example will be cortisol and for mineral corticoids example aldosterone for progestins progesterone and androgens testosterone estro estrogens estradiol all these are derived from cholesterol the corticosteroids, uh, that is the glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids, are synthesized in the adrenal cortex. Uh, then uh, the male and female sex hormones are synthesized in the gonads. Uh, all the steroid hormones are synthesized from cholesterol via pregnenolone through a series of reactions that takes place in the mitochondria and smooth endoplasmic reticulum so uh, in the uh, first okay in the synthesis of steroid hormones for cholesterol the first step is the formation of uh, pregnenolone from cholesterol okay formation of pregnenolone from cholesterol in the mitochondrial 
mitochondria the presence of the enzyme desmolase which then undergoes a sequential hydroxylation to form uh, C20 and C22 carbons uh, in the side chain of cholesterol followed by cleavage with the removal of six carbon fragments isocaprohaldehyde so uh, then uh, uh, this uh, from this uh, pregnenone once this pregnenone is formed from cholesterol other steroid hormones will be synthesized uh, okay from pregnenone we get uh, progesterone in the presence uh, okay so pregnenone will be converted into progesterone with the help of the enzyme called 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase then uh, from progesterone then uh, hydroxylation of this progesterone into corticosterone so in the presence of the enzyme 21 alpha hydroxylase Progesterone is hydroxylated at C21 to yield 11 deoxycorticosterone, uh, which will further hydroxylated at C11 to position with the help of the enzyme called 11 alpha hydroxylase to be converted into uh, corticosterone, and from corticosterone we get aldosterone, 21 carbon aldosterone. Then uh, uh, from progesterone. We also get cortisol. Okay, you have 21 alpha hydroxylates will convert this 17 alpha hydroxy progesterone into cortisol. Then uh, uh, from this uh, progesterone, we get uh, androsterone. Okay, testosterone, estro estradiol, androgens. Okay. So the androgens are the male sex hormones that are produced uh, for the development of uh, Secondary sexual characteristics in males. This and this cortisol is also very important. Glucocorticoid. Okay, this uh, cortisol is uh, very important for the carbohydrate and protein metabolism. So uh, these are the, and uh, we also get estrogen and proce progesterone from this cholesterol. So the estrogens, estradiol, estron and estriol, female uh, hormones which promote the female characteristics. And also this is required for the implantation of uh, fertilized ovum and for the growth of uterus during pregnancy. So these are the steroid hormones which are synthesized from cholesterol. Testosterone, estradiol, estrogen, progesterone, corticosteroids and uh, aldosterone, cortisol, aldosterone. All these are synthesized from cholesterol. Then we also get vitamin D3 that is the cholecalciferol is also synthesized from 7-dehydrocholesterol in the epidermis. A dermis and epidermis of the skin. The 7 dehydrocholesterol is an intermediate product of cholesterol biosynthesis. When uh, the skin is exposed to sunlight, 7 dehydrocholesterol will be converted into vitamin D3 uh, due to photolysis in the uh, photolysis of the ring in the presence of UV rays. Uh, then uh, once vitamin D3 is formed, it will be hydroxylated to 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol, which is called calcitriol, okay, in the liver. And vitamin D3 is, uh, is a storage form. It is stored as calcitriol in liver. So this, uh, so in the liver, it will be hydroxylated at 25th position to form calcitriol, and in the kidney, it will be hydroxylated in the first position to form 1,25 dihydroxy vitamin D3 which helps to maintain calcium level in the body. So these are the main uh, important important products which are derived from cholesterol. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and support the channel Biochemistry DSP.